by the title at the beginning of the video, I probably said this before, probably last year maybe, I don't remember, probably did, who cares, I'm digressing already, yes, that's right, you saw by the title, this is year number five, that's right, the DJ Brewtube five year anniversary. Ah, another year has gone by, 365 days since I last sat here and talked to you about the anniversary and drank a big ass beer, because that's what we do at anniversary times. We celebrate with something cool. But before I get into that celebrating with something cool, as you can see, like we have in front of us, I got to give everybody who watches, rates, comments, subscribes, all that stuff to DJ Brew 2 a big, huge thank you. You know what? This is why I do it. I do these beer reviews and whiskey reviews and mixed drinks and all, all that on location stuff for you guys. You know, out there in BrewTube land, much love to everybody out there. You know what? I really appreciate you. I also appreciate Johnny the Stun Trigger, UBT, all the guys like Dave and the Johnny G, etc., who I do beer trades with, man. All you folks rock. You know what? There's a really cool community and it's humbling and really fun to be part of it. And I'm glad, you know what, to be with y'all. So, you know what, enough knob slobbering. Let's talk about the beer we have in front of us today. We have a beer from Terrapin Beer Company out of Athens, Georgia, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And what beer do we have from them today? We have there. That's right, Rise and Shine. Now, this is an oatmeal imperial style. It's clocking in at 12% ABV and 120 IBUs. Now... This is from their Ales from the Wood series, I believe it's called. Yes, Ales from the Wood. This is a very limited serving. I didn't see much of this around. I just so happened to stumble upon it when I went into one of the bottle shops that I frequent in Baltimore. And I was actually kind of looking for a beer for this. Yeah, I got plenty of stuff in the cellar. But you know, I said, hey, maybe I'll some stumble by something cool for the anniversary show. Well, I did. Now, like you're hearing, you know, oatmeal imperial stout, and, you know, it happens to have coffee in it from Jittery Joe's, so you say, hmm, gee, that sounds kind of like Wake and Bake. Yes, it is, but this is the big imperialized version of Wake and Bake. You can see on the box, we've got a ton of information all over this box and the bottle, and the crazy thing is, it gives you information front to back about all the ingredients in the beer, all that stuff, but it doesn't tell you the ABV. I had to hunt and hunt on it and had to confirm it with a brewery rep to make sure I was saying the right ABV. So, if, if the, it's not 12%, shame on the brewery rep. Anyways, so, what are they using for hops in this? You say, I'm getting, they're giving me all the information. They're using Nugget. For malt in this, they're using a freaking boatload of malt. They're using Two Row Pale, Crystal 85, Flake Barley, Flake, Flake Oaks, Oats, Chocolate, Black Prince, Midnight Wheat, Black and roasted barley. Now you hear Black Prince. That's a newer malt on the scene. I've brewed with a couple few times, and it makes your beer pitch black. It's a de-bitter, de-husked malt, and the color that that stuff puts out is amazing. When you see this beer pour, I've looked it up like the neck of this beer in the light, and there's nothing coming through. So you know what? I'm going to stop flapping my gums. We want to hear about this freaking beer, and I want to drink it. Time to pop the top on it, get it in the snap top, and tell you what's up with Rising Chime from Terrapin. Boom. Big hiss off the top. Mmm. Tons of can of smoke and just bourbon blasting off the top. Oh yeah, you heard me saying bourbon. They age this actually in Tennessee whiskey barrels, so that sounds like Jack Daniels or maybe um, Dickel or one of those that they've aged this in. But Tennessee whiskey barrels, just the same, accessibly collectible. Ah, that's right, Terrapin Crown. Let's get in the sniff top. I'm ready to drink, man. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that black flow going into it. Here with that dark mocha head forming up on the beer. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna stop it right about there because that head's going to crest a little bit. And let's talk about the appearance, not like I already really didn't. There's no light penetrating this beer at all, not even down where this base is, um, like, uh, forms up to the snifter here at all. We've got a really dark, chocolatey-looking head. It's about a finger and a quarter, super tightly packed bubbles around the sides, and soap sudsy at the center of the puck. When I swirl it, yeah, yeah we're going to get nice glass lacing out of this, and there's tons, tons of alcohol age just curtaining on the inside of that. But look at that, guys. That's what a stout should look like, at least in my book, anyway. You know what? But this thing's got to smell good, too. So let's check out the aroma. Not that I can't smell it from here. Wow, the coffee is large and in charge. This, wow, mmm. Big, deep, roasted coffee. Mmm, man, after that dark chocolate, Leather, tobacco, man, the whiskey's starting to come up now as the head's receding more. Well, when I swirl this, it's coating the glass on the inside. It's left a stain at the top of the snifter mouth from where it's receded down is the head. Wow, it looks like caramel. Wow. 
Boom, big roasty notes. Now I'm getting tons of barrel char, vanilla. Maybe a little bit of licorice note. Mmm. Well, touch of coconut. That's right, average Joe. I smell coconut. Mmm. Well, no alcohol aroma at all. Mmm. It smells delicious. It's making my mouth water. The only thing I smell is that Tennessee whiskey. It smells sweet and mapley. Maybe it is Jack. Mmm. It might be just all the freaking truckload of malt that they use in this. This smells awesome. This is the best smelling Terrapin beer I've had so far, period. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Wake and Bake. I haven't had a whole lot of Terrapin beers that I've... Actually, I haven't had any Terrapin beer except for the um, uh, oak-aged Big Hoppy Monster way back one that I drank with Johnny the Stunt Drinker. But anyways, guys, you know what? It's time for me to dive into this one. Cheers! Thanks a million again to everybody for watching. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Mmm. Damn, that's dropped the fucking mic good. Mm. Right up in front, you get a blast of coffee and chocolate. Mm. After that, the bourbon and vanilla starting to kick in. It's got a thick, viscous coating mouthfeel. Way, way thicker than regular wake and bake that this is based off of. Mm. I mean, I gotta have some more of this. Wow. Mm. Man, now the whiskey's kicking in more. I was playing, interplaying with the sweetness. I can taste, I, it says Tennessee whiskey on there. If I didn't know it was exactly Tennessee whiskey, I wouldn't say it, but the fact that I do know it, I can taste those sweet notes, you know, because they, they use the Lincoln County method, okay, when they make Tennessee whiskey, which means they take bourbon, they filter it through charcoal. Generally, they use maple charcoal, at least with Jack Daniels they do. And man, that sweetness of that charcoal and the mellowing process that they go through, it's kind of showing through in this. I believe this was aged for over a year in the barrels, if memory serves, from all the stuff that I read on it. Man, but however long they age this, it's a sweet spot, man, because the coffee's shining in this. I guess this is a pretty fresh bottle. It just has a like a vintage date on here, 2016, but damn. Mm. This drink's great, man. There's some leather in there, pipe tobacco. That coconut note is in there. Mm. Vanilla. Wow. This is really super tasty. It was, I think, $13.99 for this bottle, which is crazy cheap for a barrel-aged beer of this quality. This, to me, really is up there with Bourbon County Coffee that I had before. Probably it reminds me a lot of Bourbon County Coffee, but less sweet that I had back in like 2012, 2013, somewhere in that range, when it was a lot easier to find than it is now. But man, this beer is banging. I'm gonna say it now, this is the best, definitely the best Terrapin beer I've had, period, point blank. No more questions to ask or anything to say. This is freaking tasty. I picked a good one for the anniversary video. Glad I did, because you know what? When you open a bottle, you really never know what you're gonna get, do you? So, in fact, that was kind of Forrest Gumpy, wasn't it? Anyway, also, i got to grade this now. Now, at time of recording, this is a really limited release. Rape Beer has no grade. I didn't even see a review on there. At time of recording, also, and did not see a review on there at all. Beer Advocate has no grade. Untapped, of course, because they always pull the trigger first these days. They are giving this 4.27 caps, which is definitely going up into their A-plus range because, you know, that, that's how it goes. 4.5 is really super high for that. I'm going... Let me take another taste of this. Mm. Oh, hashtag Hundies. 100, 100, A plus. Wow. That, mm. there's a nice sherry like note now that I'm getting into this. That you can, it almost tastes like, like berry notes that you get out of coffee when you drink a, a coffee that has like those acidic berry notes to it and stuff like that. Wow. Mm. In a year, this is going to be fucking banging. The coffee's going to gonna go down. And I managed, there was two bottles left. I bought both of them. I just rolled the dice, dice and took a risk. And damn, this this beer is awesome. If you guys can find a bottle of Rise and Shine, don't pass it up. I know it's Terrapin. And a lot of people say, oh, Terrapin beer. Mm, I don't know. Uh, don't worry. This is tasty. You know this beer geek right here is really down with some barrel-aged stouts. And I've drank and reviewed a ton of them. And this is a world-class beer, period. That's what my pal's telling me today. Maybe somebody's going to tell me different. But this is a really, really banging beer. So, have you had Terrapin Beer Company's Rise and Shine? 
from their Ales from the Wood series. If you have, let me know what you know because I like the quid pro quo and the back and forth. I also really, you know, I got a big affinity for you thinking globally, drinking locally, and supporting the craft beer movement because that really freaking rocks. What also really rocks mm -hmm. is when you rate, comment, subscribe, and oh, I don't know, smash that like button because that, along with, psh, all I need is one bottle, definitely, of Terrapin Beer Company's Rise and Shine to put my huge ass happy face on. And once again, before I go, before you get your, you know, it's coming at the end anyway, before you get your little something special at the end, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching another year of DJ BrewTube. I got tons more material coming your way. Don't worry, the beer geek ain't giving up on you. And you know what? We're going to have some fun. So to the next DJ's Brew Group, I got nothing but a huge ass bunch of ah, beer drinking love for you. I'm going to be rising and shining the rest of this bottle for show. And you know what's coming your way. That's right. You're ready for it by now. I'm sure. A big peace out.